Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will see what is the use effect hook and how we can show it. So these are the points of the video. We will see what is the hooks, how, uh, what is the use effect hook, how we can use it, an example and all. All right. So uh, before going to start with this video, I am just going to tell you that I am actually making a complete series of the React hooks, and this is basically the second video if you just want to go through with the old videos then you can just find the link in the description box now the first question is there what is the hook so as you know in the functional component we cannot use the lifecycle method the states and many things that we can use only in the class components to remove these limitations we use the basically hooks with the hooks we can use the state and we can also use the lifecycle methods and many things in the functional component Alright, so in the previous video I told you about the use state and in this video we will just talk about the use effect. So use effect basically used for the use the lifecycle method in the functional component. Basically it covers three lifecycle methods, component did mount, component did update and component did unmount. Alright, so I will just break this topic in the two videos. In this video we will use this use effect method with the states in the video and the next video we will use the use effect method with the props right so now let's start with the code so this is my app.js file i am just going to remove the whole code and let's make a functional component from the very scratch with the react code snipped rcs and here is our component so i am just going to make a h2 tag here and here i'm just going to write here choose effect hook all right so will be like this yeah so all right so now first of all when we just use the use effect hook we, we must have to import it from here all right just use here use effect import it from here and now to use it as you know that this is used like a life cycle method so this is a basically a function we can directly use it like this and this is accept a callback function here all right so just make it something here worn like worn hello from use effect right so now let's see now you can see that this console is coming from here so here you can see that this is working as a component did mount because the whenever this is component is loaded this this is just called here and we are able to see the warning here perfect you can also use a log here I'm just using the warning they both are the same things no the big difference right so this is the b very basic case now uh, let's go for the second case how we can use this uh, use effect with the component did update so as you know that component did will update will work when your state or props will update all right so I'm just going to use a use state here so that we can just define a state so let's make a destructure of the use state I'm zero and I am just going to take a take the two parameter here as in destructure so like data and set data and if you are not familiar with the use state then you must have to watch our previous video link is given in the description box of the previous video video specially related to the use state otherwise if you are uh, familiar with that then you can continue with this video right so after this let's first of all just print this state here like data right and now you can see that the zero is a default value it is printing right so now let's take a button and we will just update this state and when uh, we just update the state this component will be re-render and this use effect will be work again right so just like uh, put here some text like update data and let's take a on click button here like this and here we can use the set data and let's find find something like just put here five to update the state right so okay so i think we can take is take it as an h2 button because it's taking too much space now it's fine so
so whenever I'm just going to click on it now you can see that hello from use effect it's still called because it's work like a you uh, component did update all right so this is working here so whenever your state will update it will just call here now it's not going to call because the state is not updating so let's update it regularly so that we can put here data plus one so it will just update on every click so here you can see that on every click this is going to update here all right so let's say you just want that this will work only first time use effect you don't want to run it again and again so that you can just simply put here like this and now it will work only one time right so when we're just trying to update this state it will not going to call right like this because we are just putting here blank parameter so now let's say as you know that it will just update whenever any state will be updated so let's say you have a case like you just want to update it only one state you don't want to update on the every state like so let's take one more state like count and set count right so you you actually want that it it should be called only on the data update not on the count so you can just use here data like here all right and you can just uh, take a copy of this button and let's uh, update it you can just put here count here so that you can just see is it updating or not and let, let's update this with the set count all right and you can just put here update count so you just put here data that means now it will work only the data state is will be updated so here you can see that now it's updating but when you just work on uh, uh, updating on the count then it will not going to call here like this right so let's say if you have lots of state and you don't want to that it should be update on a uh, half of them on half of them you, sh you should be not update uh, the life cycle method so then you can just simply use it like choose data and you can also use your count now it will be update only on the both state if any third state will become an update then it will not going to be update All right so this video uh, specifically about the use effect with the state in the upcoming video we will see that how the, uh, use effect will work the props also so don't forget to subscribe my channel and please like this video bye bye take care